So the kids will be out of school soon enough. Some are already out, yeah. but uh, some students in our state never actually went to class. They attended school online. Yeah, so these cyber schools, they've actually been operating here in our state ever since 2000. John Hopperstad met with one teen who says without them, he wouldn't be able to pursue his dreams. I really like showing dogs. I've done it my whole life, and it's just something fun I like to do. It's awesome. And Justin Shook's dog handling career has taken him far beyond here at the Seattle Kennel Club Dog Show. I watched Westminster one year, and I saw that, and I told my mom I wanted to do it, and she's like, okay, let's go do it. 48. He did make it to Westminster, finishing in the top eight. The 16-year-old's dog handling career is landing him all over the country. But that could mean a lot of missed schoolwork. So Justin is now one of about 30,000 students in Washington who go to school online. We have found that the online virtual um, world is a godsend to a number of our students and to our parents who have been without options and have felt very frustrated. Lillian Hunter, director of the state's digital learning office, says some students take online classes to get more credits for college. Some need extra help. Others live in remote areas. And some, like Justin, have interests and careers that keep them from home. You can work at your own pace. Like, I always worked a little slower than everybody else. Then I can go at my own pace and still travel. Justin attends the Inside School of Washington, one of the major online schools in the Northwest. The state's digital director says the curriculum still has to be in line with state standards, and teachers must be Washington certified. Because it's virtual school doesn't mean that it's easy. It does take the discipline discipline on the students part to be successful. The Washington Teachers Union opposes chartered schools, but online schools are part of alternative learning. A spokesman tells us there is a place for them, but there's no substitute for face to face one on one learning between students and caring, qualified, committed teachers. <laughs> Justin admits he does miss out on making new friends at school and being around other students. But at a young age, he's found his calling, and he says his online school is helping him achieve all of his goals. Not as many people to hang out with, but that I have dog show people, so they're all awesome. In Seattle, John Hopper said Q13 News. Very cool. So it works for him. You know, I know that uh, some athletes as well who have very busy, you know, extracurricular schedules, like hockey players and things like that that aren't actually involved in the school, works great for them and, and, and a lot of opportunities, to, you know, for them to, to, to get, to, you know, to do what they what they love to do and get the, the schoolwork they need. About. Yeah, we actually had Justin on the show and he was just so passionate about what he did and he was dedicated to what he was doing so it's nice to see him be able to do both and he finished eighth at Westminster I know, that's it's quite a, big a deal, deal. Yeah. good looking dog too